As we continue to the Lord's vineyard, we are, continue, we are called to continually make choices with freedom. In order to enter into the service of God, those who respond to different vocations in the church have a moment of checking their motivation, destroying their past, breaking attachments with the past. And this is the question of bidding farewell to the parents. Whatever we are, the parents could be symbolic of what you were doing previously. If you join a new mission, a new work, a new profession, you need to drink with the past so that you can totally be available for what you have today. Elisha rushes home to offer his last respect to his parents and he gets blessings from them. This demonstrates as, to us that whenever we are called, there is haste for the kingdom of God. We cannot procrastinate. We need not delay. We do not need to keep for tomorrow that which can be done today. Elisha prepares a feast to celebrate his departure. He makes this a mark of separation from his past and a new beginning. He kills all his animals to prepare this feast so that he cannot have something to turn back in case life becomes difficult. Why are, is it becoming so difficult for young people to engage them and to commit themselves in a certain vocation? Because we always have a safe past that is a refuge that we can run to. Why is it becoming too difficult for us to commit ourselves in marriage? Because we already have a past, an old ex boyfriend, an ex girlfriend, an ex attachment that we always go back to. Elijah is telling us that before we join the mission that God is calling us, before we enter into that new profession, we have to destroy the past. The obstacles to the new vocation are things that object our path. This, this wealth that Elijah had could have as well been a bone obstacle to his vocation to follow God. So what does he do? He has to destroy this wealth. He slaughters all the oxen and use all the oxen, and using the wood that made the yoke, he roasts them as a sign that he has offered all without reservation.